Hey, welcome back to the Wealthy Environmental Center. Today, we are going to learn about aging trees. And we're going to learn a super fun technique for aging trees without cutting them down that you can do at home. But first, uh, the most accurate way to age a tree is to have a cross section like this, sometimes referred to as a tree cookie, and then take a look at the lines that radiate out within the heartwood. Uh, here, you'll be able to see each line and then you can count them. Uh, now, with a tree like this, the lines are so tight that you might need a magnifying glass to count it. Uh, but uh, the question comes up a lot, you know, how do you age a tree without cutting it down? Well, it's pretty simple. And we're going to go outside in a few minutes to learn how to do that. But before we head out, uh, to do this on your own, uh, you only need a few things that you probably have laying around the house. So you'll probably want a pencil, a ruler, and I have a nice little short one here, and I'll talk about why later. Uh, and then a pair of scissors, some yarn or string, and then something to take notes on. Uh, also, uh, in the comments, uh, we will have a link to the Minnesota Project Learning Tree uh, growth chart factors so that you can uh, have the tree's growth factors when we get to doing the math. So check out the comments for that. So uh, without uh, sticking around inside anymore, let's go outside and let's find out how old some of our trees are. All right, so now we're out here on the trails of Big Hill Park, and the first thing that you need to do when trying to figure out how old a tree is, is figure out what kind of tree you have. So uh, the first thing, if you don't have leaves on a tree, that you wanna look for is branching patterns. And so any of uh, the students that have come out here for our maple sugaring field trip will know this. All right, so the first thing you wanna do is you wanna know what style branching you have. So this is opposite, right? The branches are opposite each other. Opposite looks like this, looks like this, it looks like this. It's just where the branches are coming from, all right? The other branching style is alternate. And so I tell my students to put your hand on your chest, stick one leg out, and one arm up. And you'll be able to see that the branching or budding style is opposite because one is down here and one is up here. Now, uh, if you have opposite side branching, then you are probably in the maple tree family. And the reason why we're focusing on maple trees is maple trees are the state tree of Wisconsin. Now, uh, once you've determined that you have something in the maple tree family, if you don't see leaves, you wanna check out the buds. And here I've chosen a sugar maple. And sugar maples do have that opposite side budding. And uh, the sugar maple has a very tightly wound bud that's purple and kind of looks like an uh, unopened pine cone. Now, if you are in the maple tree family and you see that they are red and kind of fuzzy, then you probably have a silver maple. All right, now that we know that we have a sugar maple, let's go ahead and find out how old it is. All right, so you want to take your string or your yarn and you want to wrap it around your tree. Make sure that you have your scissors handy. And uh, this is not the sugar maple. This is the sugar maple here. All right, so we'll take our, our yarn and wrap it around the tree. And when we get right where the yarn touches, we're going to snip it. And this is going to tell us our um, this is going to tell us our diameter of our tree. So the next thing that we want to do, and this is why I um, I chose a small ruler, is that uh, I think it's a nice addition problem for for people uh, for our students while they're at home. Is that you know I get six inches here. And then you have to figure out how to measure the rest. So here's another six inches. So I've got 12. And that leaves me with uh, three and a half inches. 
So I have 15 and a half inches. Now that I've, I know my uh, diameter, or I need to find uh, the, uh, well now that I know my circumference, I need to find the diameter. So I need to take 12, I mean, 12 and a half, was it 12 and a half? 15 and a half. All right, it was 15 and a half. I'm sorry, I should write this stuff down. That's why I brought my pencil. So I have 15 and a half inches and that is my circumference. You need to take 15 and a half and divide it by 3.14. Now to make this easier for students, you can round up those numbers. All right, so uh, once we have our 15 and a half inches divided by 3.14 inches, we will have our diameter. Once we have our diameter, then we need to find our growth factor, which again, you can find that in the link in the comments. And our growth factor for a sugar maple is 5.5. So you take the uh, diameter and multiply uh, it by 5.5, and that will give you a estimate. We'll be right back after we do the math and tell you how old this sugar maple is. All right, so after doing some math, and yes, I used a calculator, uh, our maple tree right here, even though it doesn't seem like it's very large, uh, is 20, around 27 years old. All right, so now what we're gonna do is we are gonna go find a much larger specimen of a sugar maple and uh, see how large that is. All right, we're gonna do one more tree here. Uh, here we found another sugar maple uh, in Big Hill's sugar bush uh, that we, that's a little bit older than the last one. So what we're going to do here again is we're going to take our string to find the diameter, I mean the circumference. We're going to find the circumference by taking our string and going all the way around the tree here and matching up our string and then giving it a nice cut before measuring it. So again, this is the circumference and we need to find the diameter by measuring uh, this and then dividing by 3.14. So in just a moment, we'll be back with the age of this sugar maple. All right, so to walk you through the math to age our maple tree one more time, we found out that the uh, circumference was 45 inches. So you take 45 inches and divide by 3.14, and then you take that number times the growth factor. And the growth factor is five and a half. So, uh, the age of this sugar maple tree is 78.8 years, so almost 79 years old. All right, so this is something that you could go outside and do right now, although it's snowing, so maybe wait until that stops. But uh, you can go outside with just a few simple tools and find out how old your trees are without uh, cutting them down. So again, make sure to check in the comments for the link to the growth factor chart. All right, I'll see you soon.